सूरत अगेन समथिंग कंसर्निंग दी सीरा ऑफ द प्रॉफिट अबू लहब वॉज द अंकल एंड उम्मे जमील हिज वाइफ बोथ वर दर्स्ट एनिमीज ऑफ मोहम्मद मोहम्मद सलाम डिडेंट हैव एनी ब्रदर नॉर ही एवर सॉ हिज फादर बट ही एज अंकल्स तब यू सी हाउ वेरीड अबाउट फोर वी नो वन लव्ड हिम protected him but they didn't believe in him one believed him and loved him but after 6 years the third one also finally came to believe in him but he never played any prominent role in the struggle so much so that up till badr he had not declared that he is mu'min and he came to badr along with the army of kufar but the prophet knew that he is the mu'min and the fourth one is abu lahab the worst enemy and as i told you the worst character the best character of that time abu bakr atqa and the worst character of that time was this abu lahab and this incident happened when the command came to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fasda abi ma tumar this i had included in the last portion of surah al hijr now say loudly o muhammad what had been commanded to you sallallahu alaihi wasallam now we ascended the hillock of safa and he raised the cry wa sabaha this was the custom of the arabs if some news came to you that such and such tribe is planning to attack you this night they will attack you now you want that this news should reach all the people immediately so that they can take the precautionary steps whatever they can take so what did he used to do take off all his clothing absolute naked ascended some high place and then cried out wa saba wo to the morning that is coming a very bad morning is coming now two things happened where his voice reached people heard this where the voice was not reaching people saw a naked man standing on their own and they called it nazir or huria the warner the naked warner Now here is the lesson for us. If you have to make dawa, you see what are the means available today. Whatever is haram in it, delete. Whatever is permissible, you have to use. If you don't use, then you are to blame. So when Muhammad ascended and wa sabha, he cried. People ran to him. But then I can can't go into detail. when he presented his message the first response was from abu lahab tabban laka ali hada wa jamatana wo to you perish you did you call us for this thing we thought there is some danger you have got some news you want to warn us from some possible attack of any tribe so in response this surah was revealed tabbat yada abi lahab the tab actually the both hands of abu lahab have perished the hands of muhammad are not going to perish and the tab and he himself has been perished magna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab his wealth will not avail him nor what he earned he met a very very sad end he couldn't go to badr he was covered also i said worst character and because he was the custodian of the treasure of kaaba so he was the minister of finance so to say of the government at makka and he has stolen it was people used to say that he has stolen a golden 
you know, calf from that the treasure. So that was the name that was given to him, the stealer of the calf. So he doesn't have any good reputation whatsoever. His wealth is not going to avail him. But what happened? In Badr also he sent a person, you know, mercenary, paid him, go in my place, he couldn't go. Then this person was so rash against Muhammad sallallahu Two of the daughters of the Prophet were engaged to two of his sons. He said, go and give talaq to, to those, both of them, in the open, address Muhammad and say, we, we give talaq to your daughters. And they did it in the open. And this was a very big humiliation. Both later on died. The Prophet prayed against them. For one who was more vocal, the Prophet said, O oh Allah, let loose on him one of your dogs. He was coming back from Syria, leading a caravan. During the night, they were staying somewhere. And he knew that Muhammad has prayed this thing against him. So he used to have, you know, fire around him where he rested during the night. But a tiger came, jumped over that fire, ate him up, went back. Sayasla Naranza Talahab. Then, you know, he also died. Pustules appeared over the whole of his body. And then, you know, there was bad smell coming out. And there were, you know, the organisms in the, those wounds moving. So nobody from his family could go near him. And then when he died, nobody was ready to touch him. With the help of a wood, they dug a grave and then, you know, just put him, pushed him by, the, by this wood, not touching him. This was the end. He will enter the war fire which is flaming. Not, not only he, also his wife. The carrier of firewood. Upon her neck a rope of palm fibers will be there. Now she was a very rich lady. She used to have a very fine and costly necklace around her neck. But in the hereafter, this necklace will take the form of a rope of the fibers of date palm tree. And with that, it will bring, bring, you know, fuel and add to the fire of her husband. Adding fuel. Because, you know, wives, either they support you in your deen or they oppose you. And if they are also on the wrong path, they are supporting the wrong path. In the same way, she will be kindling the fire of hell for her husband. 